Moving on to other stories now, 20 nations led by the UK and Canada pledged to phase out coal power plants by the year 2030. The goal is to replace the fossil fuel with renewable sources and they hope to get more countries to join in. Park Juan gets us better acquainted with the Powering Past Coal Alliance. Delegates from 20 countries and the U.S. states of Washington and Oregon joined together on Thursday in Germany at the U.N. Climate Conference to form an international alliance for the global phase out of coal by 2030. The so-called Powering Past Coal Alliance aims to end the use of fossil fuels and to share technologies to reduce carbon emissions. So it feels like a very important tipping point to be bold and ambitious, and I think this alliance is exactly that. Um, it's not about telling people what to do. It's about celebrating the benefits of what is possible and helping all of us achieve these very big steps for the sake of our planet and for the sake of generations to come. Coal is literally choking our cities and our people. Around the world, we see close to a million deaths a year from air pollution created by burning coal. Not only is there a human cost, there is also a huge economic cost, totaling billions of dollars a year. The countries in the alliance aim to increase their use of renewable and green energy to fill the void from the non-use of fossil fuels. Britain, for example, has already invested a lot in clean energy. Nearly a third of all UK electricity came from renewable sources such as wind and hydroelectric power in the second three months of this year. Canada produced more than two-thirds of its electricity from renewables in 2015 and aims to increase the portion further. However, major coal-burning nations such as China, India, Russia and the U.S. have not yet joined, with the exception of the two U.S. states of Washington and Oregon. The alliance hopes to have 50 countries signed up by the next major U.N. conference in Poland next year. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.